dot product of vectors. Objective to define the scalar or dot product of two vectors. Consider two vectors A bar and B bar in a vector space. Two different methods of multiplications can be performed on them. One of them is scalar multiplication which is also called dot product. It is indicated by placing a dot between the vectors. The other method, called cross product, is represented by placing a cross between the vectors. Dot product results in a scalar, which in this case is a real number, while cross product of the two vectors results in a new vector. Let us first look at the dot product of vectors A bar and B bar with magnitudes A and B respectively. If the angle between them is theta, a bar dot b bar is simply a b cos theta. The component of a bar along b bar is a cos theta. So the dot product can be regarded as the product of magnitude of one of the vectors and the scalar component of the second vector along the direction of the first vector. Commutative law applies to dot product. So, a bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot a bar. If the angle between the vectors is 0, cos theta becomes 1. Hence, the dot product of parallel vectors is equal to the product of their magnitudes. If the angle between the vectors is 90 degrees, cos 90 is 0. Therefore, dot product of perpendicular vectors is zero. If vectors are opposite to each other, the angle between them is 180 degrees. Cos 180 is minus 1. So, the dot product becomes negative. Let us look at the dot product of rectangular unit vectors. I cap is parallel to I cap. So, the angle between them is zero. Hence, I cap dot I cap is equal to the magnitude of I cap into magnitude of I cap into cos zero. Which is equal to one. Similarly, J cap dot J cap and k cap dot k cap are equal to 1. i cap, j cap and k cap are mutually perpendicular to each other. Hence, dot product of any two of them should be zero. Let us write A bar and B bar in unit rectangular component form. We can expand this according to the distributive law. Each vector component of the first vector is to be dotted with each vector component of the second vector. Hence, we can write a bar dot b bar as ax bx plus ay by plus az bz. We can use this result to calculate the angle between two vectors. a bar dot b bar is equal to ab cos theta which is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz. Thus, cos theta is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz divided by ab. For example, angle between two vectors i cap plus 2j cap plus 2k cap and 10 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 11 k cap is equal to 
i cap plus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap dot 10 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 11 k cap divided by modulus of i cap plus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap into modulus of 10 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 11 k cap which turns out to be equal to 37 degrees. Summary Dot product of two vectors is the product of magnitudes of the vectors and cos of angle between them. A bar dot B bar is AB cos theta.